Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this number counter using a slider control. I'll also show you how to control the number of decimal places, how to add symbols before and after numbers, and as a bonus, I will show you how to automatically add commas to numbers that are greater than a thousand and less than a million. I'll click on T for the type tool, click. You can enter anything you want here. It could be one character, it could be an entire word. I'm using a font called Londrina Solid. I also want the number counter to stay right in the center of the composition. So first, I'm gonna to go to the paragraph panel and make sure that I have center text selected. Then I'm gonna to go to the align panel, center it to the composition, and finally, I'm gonna center the anchor point by pressing Command on a Mac, Control on Window, and then just double click on the Pan Behind tool. So with the text layer selected, go to the top menu, go to Effect, Expression Controls, and select Slider Control. Twirl open the text layer, twirl open text, hold Option on a Mac, Alt on Windows, click on the stopwatch for source text, then go to the Expression Pick Whip, Click that and drag it right to the slider control. I'll click away. Now you'll see the text was converted to a number. To animate the number counter, drag the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, click on the stopwatch next to slider, enter the value that you want the counter to start with. I'm gonna keep it at zero. I'll move the CTI forward in time. Now you need to enter the value that you want the counter to end with. I'm just gonna click in there and enter 500. I'll tap N to set the work area, tap the spacebar, and I've got a counter, but I've got these crazy decimal places. To control the number of decimal places, we're just going to modify the expression. So select the text layer, tap the letter E two times, so EE -E will reveal all expressions. I'll click, tap the right arrow key so my cursor is at the end of the original expression, then we're gonna add dot value, so dot or period, lowercase value, V-A-L-U-E, another period, I'm gonna enter two fixed, lowercase T-O, capital F, I-X-E-D, and open and close parentheses. Leave it blank between the parentheses if you want a round number or no decimal places, or enter any number that will be the number of decimal places. To add symbols or anything you want before the number counter, I'll click inside the expression editor, tap the left arrow key. I'm gonna enter two double quotation marks. So shift, double quote, double quote, and then a plus symbol. Whatever you type between the double quotation marks, so if I enter a dollar sign, click away, that's going to be added before the number. If you want to add a space between the symbol and the number, I'll put my cursor right after the symbol, tap a space sign. Remember, it's between the double quotation marks, and now I've added a space. And if I want to add decimal places at the end, I'll go to the two fixed, enter in the number two. Easy as that. And to add a symbol at the end, it's the exact same thing, only you're going to add the plus sign first. So I'll remove the dollar sign, go to the end, add the plus symbol, and then two double quotation marks. Whatever you type in between the double quotation marks is going to be added at the end. If I wanna remove the decimals, I'll go back to the two fixed, I'll leave it blank, and now we have ourselves a round number percentage. And to automatically add commas to numbers greater than a thousand and less than a million, as that's the limit when using slider controls, copy and paste the expression that I left in the description of this video, and thanks to Euchre Media for this expression. I'm going to replace the word value with the expression that we already had, so I'll select it and cut it, Command or Control X. I'll select value, make sure that you leave the semicolon, I'll paste it. Now when I click away, after Effects is going to automatically add the commas. And that is the number counter, controlling decimals, adding symbols, adding commas. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.